One team moves forward, one team goes home. Both want it so badly, only one can have it. Complexity versus the Ninjas starts now. A battle for the very soul of South America, and a battle to make it into our top eight. Shogun here joined by Johnny. Ninjas in pajamas already took down Furia, one of the teams that left for greener pastures. Now they face the other. And this would really prove to everyone, well, maybe not everyone, I know TBS could be listening, but it'll prove to 99.9% .9 of you that these teams would not have had it easy if they'd stayed in South America. Furia and Complexity. The two dominant teams before they left, but I don't think it would have been free for them if they stayed. There's a lot of talent over there in South America. Team Secret top four at the Fall Major. We got Crew top eight at the Winter Major. Now Ninjas in Pajamas trying to go top eight at the Spring Major. Can they repeat three lands in a row? All top eight. Raise ball into the midfield. No one around in the set is Astro. First time shot. Too oh, high. Whoa, whoa, that's whoa. an incredible touch by Kiara. <laughs> But the Death made the point earlier on, Johnny. It looked to Ninjas and Pajamas like it was personal earlier on in the tournament. They've spent the entire season being told if Complexity and Furia were still in the region, yeah. they would not have their success. Of course it's personal. I mean, yeah, especially for Astromic. He says, everybody leaving, but now look at this. Mata, the new player in the team, open to scoring inside a minute. Bems offloads it to him and Ray's Bull in the net with no boost did not have a strong enough touch. The question's gonna get asked throughout the entirety of this opening five minutes. Where is the mindset of complexity? Where is the mindset of AJG after the way things went down yesterday? Vitality were at the most vulnerable they've been all split long. Yep. And it was one whiff after AJG was incredible throughout the entire series. They're gonna get caught into action and no boost available. Quite a little bit of help. Just at least receive it. Back down again. In comes Destro. Uh oh, 2-0. It's Bams. Ninjas in pajamas on a hot streak against their big brothers. Complexity in trouble already. It's always fun to punch up. Ninjas in pajamas 2. Complexity nil. And the question mark gets bigger and bigger. AJG in. As 2v1 to go against, delays the attempt. Ciara cuts the lead in half. Oh, that's such a smart setup there by AJG. Mota wanted the 50-50. AJG denied it. He just drove around the ball, and Mota's intended 50-50 turned into a giveaway of possession. Immediately punished by CRR. Complexity with a key goal back. So well played off the kickoff. What else have they got? We already saw from Power earlier on. A fair few different styles on taking on the kickoff, which I'm sure you were beaming at the entire time. Johnny. Oh, you bet. Now we have this. Uh, start off, here comes AJG. That's not going to be on target, but there's Ray's oh. to the play on. Lexi, actually running out of boost on everybody. CRR's finally boosted up to 100, but he's the only one for now. And does take on the responsibility of that. Otter. From the ceiling, Astro's around to put the pressure on. Another good clear from AJG. That's so dangerous. Oh, this game's oh, look at this. Baseball drops down. AJG on target, but Astro does get rid. Yeah, key positioning there from Astro, formerly Astromic. Not sure if that's a rebrand or if he's just decided to run with a bit of a lighter nameplate. You never know with professional Rocket League players. You might feel like that a longer name's weighing him down. <laughs> Complexity. Testing the waters again. On a one goal deficit, I don't expect them to push too hard. They don't want to go overextend, but they do have a lot of chances here without really going all in. That's good news for them. And it looks like they might have just settled into this game and into this series. Like you said, AJG, terrible way to end their upper bracket yesterday, but before that, it was brilliant. And that's, I think, what they've got to be talking about all day as they wait for this match to happen. Let's not worry about the open net miss. It happens to everyone. Before that, we had... Arguably the best team in the world, the favorite, certainly the tournament favorites, on the ropes. And they're just one hit away from eliminating them from the upper bracket. OGG does look very comfortable in what's about as close to a dedicated third man role as I've seen in quite some time. And now he's back up. Good Whoa. challenge. <laughs> the lead has disappeared. Oh, well, that was almost a brilliant save. Bam's clear, not really a clear. Again, a giveaway of possession. It's two goals now for complexity where ninjas in pajamas have given the ball straight to Complexity. So Complexity can look for those bad clears. Brew actually did the same thing in the upper bracket against Rule 1. 
need to get those players towards the back corners, not towards the center of the box. Oh, off the side, Motta goes again. Graceful around to deal with it. Fusion Pajamas have seen their lead go. Just know that. Oh, well within this game, Astro to the ceiling, met by CRR. Motta sticking around, not the best first touch. Does limit the options on this offense, especially when you only have three boosts. Now zero boosts, Holy but still, there. the name's Motta and you're gonna have to respect it. Them's only as far as CRR. Now the counter-attack moves on in. Raise ball, looking to play Disruptor. Oh. Go off the backboards. Great save by Ninjas in Pajamas there. The pressure on the goalie was real. Now infield pass to Motta. Absolutely slams it. Denied by CRR. His clear set straight back into the mixer. Raise ball. Not really getting much distance on his hit either. Ninjas in Pajamas loading up the attack. Got plenty of boost to play with here. You can't say the same about complexity, but they've slowed the game down well. That is going to buy them valuable time. He's still picking up the back corner 100. Oh, and that's a big miss actually from Bems in field. And he does clean up his own mess. This team in a fair whack of trouble now with a zero boost. And I feel like everybody has had the ball so far. Oh, zero oh. boost. That's pretty <laughs> dangerous, but Ray's ball certainly does not care. Does have options. Decides to go low, CRR moving on in, does not jump, instead clats into his own teammate on the way back, AJG, only as far as Motta, looks trying to get up a challenge, and CRR's got it covered again, that's a dangerous pass though, and Ray's will have to be quick. Yeah, lots of mind games being attempted by both teams here, defensively, they really have to start playing the ball, Ray's there had a flip reset mind game, nobody played the ball in the first challenge, might be headed to overtime here, CRR, Popping the ball blindly there in case Bems was on top of him. He wasn't, but always better to play safe. Astro, oh, not the best first touch, but it's actually caused so much chaos. Back down. Bems, do you want to keep this oh, going? Of course he wants to keep <laughs> this going. What a daft question that would be. But we've got overtime in game number one. Ninjas in pajamas. Went to a two goal lead early. Complexity. Came back. Now Motta looking to win it in OT, but it's not going to be his. It's going to be Bems, who scored a goal earlier on this game as well. Stromic, the only ninja not to score yet. Half a chance here, but wrong side of the ball. Motta alone at the back, beats CRR to the punch. Looks like we will get into midfield play here. Full boost for everyone in Ninja's pajamas. Complexity, waiting for big boost pads. Ray's ball did not get the big boost pad there. He was waiting for a while for it. Spawned right as he left it. Well, now's the opportunity to get rid of it. Instead, CRR beats to the punch, off the backboard, Astro leaves it. Through either choice or not, Ninja Majamas have had the better of this overtime so far. Motta, off the wall. Can't get anything else, AJG has been impervious. Can't get the boost though, that means his rotation back is going to be so late. Astro, off the challenge, in comes Motta one more time. Does he have any passing options? Not quite. Bems in. First touch to control. Didn't have enough of it. But did still try and go for the challenge. Over one minute in. Complexity again find themselves. Pretty starved to boost just briefly, but they're defending those back corners well. Not allowing free steals from Ninjas in Pajamas. Demo's landing. That's multiple. A big 50-50 goes back towards the Ninjas in Pajamas end. I guess we can call it a back pass and an orange trail. That's not the touch CRR wanted. AJG easily deflects the follow-up shot wide. You've got to say, this overtime is, seems more important to complexity than you would say for Ninjas in Pajamas. Absolutely. This would just be more misery to add to their own misery. CRR. It's technically a back pass to AJG, who is unchallenged and not the best touch from him. Motta to the corner. That's attackable. Them's delayed. Oh, wow. There's so many fakes happening everywhere. So difficult to keep making the right decision. The pass infield, that might have been the correct one. No idea where that one play is going to come from. Yeah, it looked like there was just a bit of a rush shot there for complexity. They did not need to play that one on target. CRR is looking to put goalkeepers in an awkward position, but Astro did very well. Low 50 by Benz, goes across the pitch. Not the kind of bounce that Astronic was expecting. And speaking of, another misread by Ninjas in Pajamas. Complexity. Can they capitalize on this pressure? No, oh, they're not going to. Another deep third man alleviates the pressure. AJG follows it down, gets the challenge. That's nice for his team. CRR, that's still so awkward. Race ball delays the challenge. This has not been 
how you would imagine a South American match to play <laughs> out. It is so tentative. It is so cautious. Waiting to see who will misstep. Raise Ball takes his time. Takes too much of it. Bems moves on in, but that's still a good challenge. In goes AJG. Met at it. CRL from the ceiling. That's way too much. Raise will be the last person back, but that's easy enough to deal with. Raise Ball fakes the double tap. AJG softly just caresses the ball towards the goalkeeper there. No real part to threaten, but still Ninja Pajamas in a bit of trouble here. That was a double commit. They both landed on the back wall. Nobody with the media ball pressure. They've got to get someone on this. Free touch for the bull. Another one, perhaps. That one is shut down by Astromic, and it's safely in the back corner for now. All of a sudden, though, the bump lands, and AJD shot goes through. Three minutes and 33 seconds into overtime. That is not a Fennec. It's a snowplow, and Motta was cleared out. 1-0 complexity, and my goodness, did they need it. Yeah, you can see the relief, especially Ray's bull. As soon as that goal went in, he just leaned back in his chair thinking, okay, it's fine. We're not going to continue today's bad <laughs> luck. We're not going to continue the bad energy. We've left that behind. It's a new day, and we've stopped the momentum that Ninjas in Pajamas had from their earlier victory today. Another just deep breath there for Ball, trying to calm the nerves. As I'm sure, you know, even an experienced player like him will be feeling it in a situation like this. The most brutal format of the season, double elimination in the lower bracket on the second day. That's not where complexity would have expected to be. Um, it's not where they want to be. Of course, nobody wants to be in this situation, but just look at how much that meant to them. What a relief. Um, brilliant game by both teams in game one. They had both had chances. Some mistakes here and there, but I think you can afford to have a few of them and nobody's really going to bat an eyelid in a situation like this. I think at a pace of game like that as well, you can expect the mistakes to come through because everybody is used to, when you play in scrims, when you play in ranked, you play at full pelt, all the pace that you can possibly muster. When a match like that happens and everybody's trying to fake, everybody's trying to mind game, everyone's trying to get the passing plays going, that's when the muscle memory goes away a little bit and you have to think about, all right, what actually am I going to do next? And now, you know, for complexity, they've just got to keep doing what they're doing. They scored three goals in a row there. It wasn't an easy game one, but after the early two goal lead for NIP, it was all complexity. The second hope for North America. Gen.G already booking their spot in front of the land crowd. We know the Boston audience are going to be very excited to see Chronic, but I think they're going to be equally excited to see Complexity, who have really been widely loved um, as they've become part of that North American ecosystem over the, over the past two years. Maybe some of the South American fans back home might think differently, uh, considering it was back at the Winter Major that Complexity ended the hopes of the South American representatives 4-0 against Crew. That was in the top eight. This is to try and knock out South America before we even make it there. Can Complexity do it yet again? Find out over the course of maybe the next 10 minutes if they have their own way. CRR delays. Oh, oh, oh. Incredible. What a recovery by CRR. Looking to play the ball here off Raze Bull's shot. But then he realizes this is far better if I just leave it and go in front. He doesn't want to hit the goalkeeper with a direct shot. Just dives underneath the ball, takes the goalkeeper out of the frame. And he hit that till the last moment. No one from Ninjas in Pajamas could react. What I love so much about that positioning is that the option was still there for the shot. He's used the flip to put himself back on the ground. But if he wants to, the flip to the right is still there. You can still take the shot. And as a defender, you have to be prepared for that. And now Complexity have really got up and rolling. Ever since Ninjas in Pajamas had that two goal lead, it has all been Complexity uh -oh. since all that, however, is maybe not the touch. Yeah, a bit of a miscommunication there by Complexity. One player looking to fake it, another player looking to go solo. That's not really resulted in too much against him. All of a sudden, no Mata, shot goes undefended, but unchallenged, I should say. Of course, it was stopped in the goal line. And Bems has the free shot in net. He hits the bar. CRR beats Mata in the follow-up. Absolutely love that camera angle as well, because you've got to see at home just how disciplined you have to be. You know your teammates are around you. You're seeing shots coming towards your net, and you have to go, I'm just going to leave it. You've got it. I trust in you. I mean, that's really why defense at the highest level is so difficult at pro level. A double tap can happen in an instant. A shot can go top bins in an instant. It could be just a, a complete leave on the ball, a pass um, off to a teammate, a mind game. Maybe 
a physical play. You know, when you're just a stationary car in the net, it is not easy to stay calm. Like you mentioned, not easy um, to just wait your turn to play the ball. Double commits happen often, except for a few very, very disciplined teams who can sit in net and compete at a world-class level. One of the most difficult mechanics in Rocket League, simply not pressing the jump button. Sounds easy, dare you to do it at this level. AJG off the backboard, good follow. He's delays uh, into the pajamas' counter-attack. Here's the bull. Can he show the horns? Not in this occasion. Still an option downfield, he has stole 100 boost. Keep an eye now on Ninja Pajamas. Instead, AGG on target. Right down the middle, though. Passing option for Raze Ball. Bevers fired it. Went early. Good positioning, actually, here for Ninja Pajamas. Oh. They've got the panic happening. In comes Astral. Raze Ball. Over the wall. Good challenge win. Steals the boost. I'm liking this from Complexity. They always take something on their way out. Yeah, that being said, Ninja Pajamas with expert boost management. I mean, every time you look up at the top right, they've got an advantage, at least a small one for the most part in these games. But Complexity have still come out on top in the exchanges. You know, both these teams have developed over the years. These players have been developing. Complexity in North America, NIP in South America. You know, we have to really credit the South American teams for completely transforming themselves since they first joined the league. It's easy to credit teams like Complexity and Furia for improvement playing in a new, a new league. NIP so much more difficult to score on than South American teams of the past. Yeah, South America over the last few years has really been a talent farm of sorts. Every single time one player steps up and suddenly they leave, go to North America, you're thinking, oh, okay, suddenly that's done, but oh, nope, there's another one around. And... <laughs> wow! Well, we saw two shots, one of them resulted in a goal, and the other one resulted in a car that I do not believe will land anytime soon. Oh, Raceball just gave so much time to CRR, he clapped Bems out of the goal there. And that is even more frustrating than a demo for NIP. They've conceded five goals in the trot now between games one and two. Raceball off the ball, doing so much for his team. Again, a reminder that there's more to Rocket League than points per game. He's not going to get any points for that, but he left the net wide open for his teammate. Actually, this is so awkward on the boost totals. Double tap from Raze Ball! <laughs> Game done! Oh, Raze Ball's feeling it now. You cannot give him that much time. Reset double. Mota was right in front of the ball, but no time to react from that range. It's all smiles for complexity. The tension of Game 1, just a distant memory, as they completely take control of the series. Did Ninjas and Pajamas miss their chance? Yes. In game <laughs> one, there was the chance right there. You had so much on the mental stack, and it's all gone. Complexity could not be anywhere else right now, apart from on that stage, beaming with smiles. This is a team from North America who are trying to send another North American team to the World Championship wildcard. Right now, that team is version one. So if you're a version one fan, if you're a North American Rocket League fan, you want complexity to win this and then win again tomorrow against Rule 1. If Rule 1 can make it past another two rounds, they'll send Twisted Minds to Worlds instead of version 1. So this is huge. Complexity in great form, dominating Ninjas in Pajamas, who earlier on today eliminated Furia, showing that they are definitely in frightening form themselves. This is North America's team who can confirm version one to the World Championship. Before they can do that though, they've got to finish the job. Two games up, triple match point, but it looks like they are well on their way. I feel like at any other event right now, Johnny, I've been looking at a match like that and the series at 2-0 and I'd be thinking, okay, let's start looking towards the future here. However, with the amount of reverse sweeps that we've seen, especially after very dominant performances leading into them, I am not counting Ninjas in Pajamas out just yet. I'll be, I'll be completely honest. I, I'm giving them a very low percentage chance of winning this complexity in game one. Looked a bit nervous at the start of the game. Ninjas and Pajamas came out with the you know, energy on stage. That's just not there anymore. They didn't have anything to celebrate in this game. You know, that's why Constellation goals can be more than Constellation um, on LAN. It's something to celebrate, something to cheer for, something to lift the spirits um, going into the last game. But a shutout in game two really leaves Ninjas and Pajamas with not a lot to think about, at least not much positive uh, thoughts to think about. But they're giving it some uh, talk here. And it uh, looks like 
you know, contrary to Fever earlier on, Bems prefers to wear layers when he's playing because he wants to stay warm. I want someone who's going to get him a jacket then because they're going to need that little bit extra in the <laughs> next, as they would hope, three games. But he does have the undergarment he on. He does. Very nicely done layering the clothes, staying warm, co absolutely covered in jewelry as well, which I'm sure is <laughs> providing him with some kind of heat. They need three wins in a row to follow in their South American brethren's footsteps. Secret and crew will be joining Ninjas in Pajamas at the World Championship. Secret and crew have made top eights this season. Ninjas in Pajamas want to do that as well. We have not seen a Ninjas in Pajamas goal. Well, until right now. <laughs> Cued that one up perfectly, didn't I? Seven minutes went down, and they've now got their first since then. Oh, that's a great stop there by Mata, CRR. Running out of boost, that he knew he just had to try and keep that in the back corner, try and force it away from danger, but Mata completely denied him that option. And they finally get something, like we said, to cheer about. They might have more to cheer about. They do. Complexity have lost the kickoff goal. Well, we, they scored two quickly in game one. Then they scored two even more quickly in game three. You can see there's a close cheating player could not get near Mata to block the shot, and there was absolutely no chance of making it back to the net either. And as this potentially eases closer and closer towards Ninja Pajamas making a series of this, just pop an eye over onto that right-hand side every single time because they will go so quickly from tame, tentative in front of their cameras to full-on pop-off mode. One of the loudest celebrations I've ever heard earlier on today. Maybe they can match it. A long way Whoa. to go and an AJG that looked very angry of them. Now Ray's Bull. Oh, what an angle shot! Denied <laughs> by the crossbar. Ray's Bull has been another level throughout this series. Now CRR! Oh, dearie me! Ninja in pajamas. It wasn't going to be that easy, was it? Oh, it's just too fast. CRR on the turn. Catches Astro completely out of position. And it looks like Bems is also circling the edge of the box, looking for small boost pads. Before the next shot came in, he did not think CRR had a shooting angle from there. Already complexity replicating exactly what they did in game one. They've made their intentions clear. It's going to be an aggressive performance to make this win happen. Complexity just looked more and more comfortable all the time. That first game looked awkward from everybody. CRR does not get contact, and HG realized he has to get back. Quick spot from him. Not the best touch there from Ray's ball. Not the best touch there from Bems. Both players handing up the ball quite easily. AJG tries for the uh, dribble. He's at least got the challenge, but Razor. Whoa! Okay. Oh, he's holding up his controller there. Um, I wonder what happened because he, he clearly held up his controller after this, so that has to be a complete miss. But yeah, he's, he's double jumped. It looks like he might have tried to flip, but he's double jumped and just fast aerial over the top of the ball. I'm, I'm guessing his thumb just slipped or perhaps a double input on his jump button that he did not intend. Either way, Goal will obviously stand, because that is, you know, that re that's a misplay. Yeah. <laughs> no matter how you cut it. So, NIP up by two again. It's one of those things that's so easy to forget as well about this kind of level where we see the fantastic plays that everyone's able to come up with, and Rays will might be able to be to add to it. Demo as well. CRR's gonna take his time because he realizes it's against Astro. But we see the incredible plays that people are capable are of, but. There's always that potential of jitters at the biggest possible moments. I don't think that one was. Nah, he's a, he's a genius if it was. If, <laughs> if, he, if he's just accidentally flown over the ball and then he thinks, wait, I need to cover this up because otherwise my team's tilted. It was let very me, quick. Let me pretend it was a controller malfunction. Great, okay, now we're back in the game. We can just call that uh, you know, a Mickey goal, no problem. I mean, we all do that, don't we? I know you're all thinking of home. What are you talking about? You've all done it. You've all missed the ball then said, oh, I'm, I, was I the only one that lagged? Was that, was that me? I believe the, uh, yeah, the phrase for it is just... <laughs> yeah, whips does suffice when I'm when I'm on the pitch. Everybody knows exactly what's happened. Oh, good save. The wrong way would be special. CRR wipes one player out. Raised ball, midfield, but nobody around to follow up. Uh-oh. CRR, well, he's adding to it, you know, just to make everyone feel better. You know, the good news for Complexity is that Ninja Pajamas Pajamas are not reading these mistakes. I, and I mean, Complexity have done well enough so far this series to earn the respect of their opponents. When you play as well as you, Complexity did in game two, your opponents are not going to read misses very often. So you get a couple of freebies there, but Complexity have to get that out of their system. Otherwise, 
ninjas in pajamas might start to anticipate whiffs. That's when it could get very dangerous. We've got a minute and 45 remaining in game three. If Complexity wants to sweep, they're going to need to work at it pretty quickly, but it looks like it's another goal the other way as two players in Complexity cut rotation at the same time. They're not on the same page. And to make matters worse, they were both getting beaten to the ball anyway. Yeah, the main rule is third man, get contact. If you're going for it, you have to be there. And unfortunately, that rule was broken. Not the only rule that we've seen broken this week. And that one may be a little bit more costly uh, than Rawas ended up seeing. Bems does he have the reset, ends up taking the ball to the floor. It does for Clatter into CRR. Raise ball to AJG. Have they got enough time left? If they are going to make something of this, it's going to have to be quick. As Ninja Pajamas know, they don't have to chase this game anymore. They can wait for it to come to them. Is that a dangerous idea, though? One taken out. You know, good saves here by Ninjas in Pajamas. They you know, can be very happy with themselves, with their goalkeeper positioning and their ability to knock the ball into the back corner multiple times. It was a mistake they made in game one, but not really since then. But they, they have to start cutting off these infield passes. Mm -hmm. With a 4-1 lead, obviously they can afford to um, net a little bit here, but you can't afford to give Complexity these free shots from that range. Because, you know, it's, it's fine if they hit it close to the goalkeeper. If they hit it into um, a gap, then you're never getting it. Oh, look at this. Oh, my oh. Mata! Triple reset, throwing a double tap, 5-1. Watch it and love it. Astro, even he doesn't know. He's like, mate, do you, what is that? <laughs> That's your teammate, my friend. And he's pretty good at this. That completely blew me away. I think I called it a triple reset instead of a triple tap, but either way, what a goal. There's what a statement. There's a certain range where it's just like, whatever you say, it can't sound more impressive because it's already hit that <laughs> range. It was a triple something with uh, with a flip reset in there, trust me. Off the backboard. You'll see that goal again. You don't, <laughs> don't worry about it. That one will be on a highlight reel. I can promise you. AJG to raise ball. Doesn't make contact. Trying to look for that consolation goal that you were talking about earlier on, Johnny. Ninja Pajamas having absolutely none of it. Statement made. Step one down. Two more to go. Not just consolation goal, you know, celebratory goals as well. Obviously, the game was as good as one, but why not score an absolute worldie? And not only that, Montes just put 935 points on the scoreboard in regulation time. That does not happen very often in professional Rocket League. Unbelievable game by him and by NIP as a whole. That's so important as well because he was very close to double digits in the last game. He was really the one lagging behind compared to the rest of his teammates in game number two. So to really step up in this third game is massive for him. Now we get to see what are we going to get out of game number four. Oh, oh, oh. If this was a close one, I'd still be saying, yes, Ninja Pajamas, it's quite far away. But a performance like that, that. I start to second guess it. <laughs> I mean, just unreal. You're up 4-1. You've already put so many points on the scoreboard. You know, we talk about it, it's not the only thing that matters in Rocket League, but it's still amazing to see that many points dropped. And uh, yeah, you, fun fact, you might have already been aware of about Ray's Bowl. He does yell a lot when he's celebrating a goal. I mean, that's actually synonymous with, I think, all the players in yes. stage right now. This has been a tame time, actually, up there for what I was expecting. You know, there are definitely players, and especially Ray's Bull, who can match what Mota just did. And maybe not, uh, you know, triple tap with a reset. Uh, play string pace, but, you know, they could definitely <laughs> do they could do similar kind of goals. I mean, that's a rare one. You've really got to have the cards aligned, uh, the stars aligned to have those happen. But what do Complexity have in response? That was the performance NIP have been waiting for. Complexity have got another shot at this. I think right now they look absolutely locked, but one more for NIP. Suddenly it would be reverse sweep territory. Again, we'll look back towards that first game, the two goal lead that was thrown away. There's every chance here that Ninja Pajamas could be the team on match point. Instead, Complexity still have two more to work with. Astro had to avoid the first demo. Calls in the help, and Mossa has certainly been the help in the last five minutes. I love that back pass by CRR, just bustling NIP off the ball and then sending it to his teammate. And CRR has a chance to play solo himself, but Mossa gets up nice and early, and this is what I think was missing from NIP earlier. Too much um, passive play in goal. 
too much passive play and defense, getting out early against complexity and putting a challenge in, really takes away the options. We saw in the last game as well how when complexity were the team chasing and they're playing the ball infield, playing the ball off the backboards, they were losing the race cleanly to Ninja Pajamas, who were getting their power clears the opposite side. That's very rare that that happens at this kind of level. One demo in the backfield. Astro has just respawned oh. and is pulled in. That is difficult to do with only 33 boost. Yeah, not only that, he's just got to be so worried about where he's hitting the ball there. You can see that he couldn't rush that touch. He had to get it into the corner. Did not want to okay. center it as he spawns. I, I, I feel like the tension is back. Complexity were very relaxed in game two, but stoic faces after Ninjas and Pajamas blew them away in game three. CRR, the great stat chance here. Raysville finishes it off, but it's all CRR. Had space, over the top of one, over the top of two. Oh, yeah. And absolutely no doubt of whether or not that would go in the net. That's so, so unfortunate. Bem's back flipped and well, he ended up hitting his own teammate who wanted to go up for it. Back down to planet Earth for Ninjas and Pajamas. How do they respond? CRR off the back, but way too much work to do from that angle. But now he can be passed back to. It's on target, but Bems will be more than up to the task. Although, now the third man has gone. Astro has to recover quickly enough to cover the angle. That's a fantastic second touch. Chases it down. Ninja Pajamas will want to try and keep the territory. Complexity though, so good at just sending one player forward to be a hassle. Always get at least two players out for that. Another demo, another bump. Complexity have decided to go for the physical plays. NGG, midfield, oh, and there's a quick win. Opportunity to try and break away, but CRR spotted it so early. Yeah, this is just vintage complexity here. They're completely dominating the pitch. They're squeezing NIP. Complexity with the one goal lead, continue attacking. This is the best way to defend if they can just play the balance perfectly. Oh, he's got to worry. NIP have got to be so careful whenever they can only see one or two Complexity players. You bet the third is looking for a redirect. They were redirect merchants to their one regional win. And now redirect assist puts them up 2 0 on land. Beautiful shot from CRR. Sees the in and out attempted. Get that as low as you possibly can, and the in and out save becomes a lot more useless. NIP could not come back in game two. Games one and three were their best looks here, but they had the leads for most of those. What have they got with less than two minutes remaining? Their tournament life on the line is almost a massive dunk for Raysville to go into the goal, but it goes wide. Now Stromic's got a lot of space to play with here. Two teammates in front of him. He's not able to find either though, Raysville. Controls it briefly. This is tough for Bems. He can only hit it backwards. CRR controls. Pass the top side of one. Here comes AJG to put it away. 3-0. History looks to repeat itself. It was Crew back oh, at the oh. Winter Major. It looks like it's Ninjas in Pajamas this time. Oh, and just take notes. Look at how CRR was able to pass to his teammate there, just slamming it into that back corner wall. No chance for the goalkeeper to close the gap. It's such an easy finish for a skilled striker like AJG. He's putting to bed all his demons from yesterday. Complexity look like they're ready to advance. No time really for Ninjas and Pajamas to hold back. We could easily see the goal lead extend here as Ninjas and Pajamas are forced to attack relentlessly. It's time just to send everything. 4-0 does not make any difference. Oh, oh that was the one! Motta clatters into the crossbar. And that might be Ninjas in Pajamas tournament. Less than a minute to go. They need a goal, and then they need some good kickoffs. It looks like it's just too much complexity in the midfield this game. Too much complexity control. What can Astromic do here? He's a bit off target. He's looking for an angle, but he doesn't have a lot of boost to play with. And there is that overextension. It's done. You can't really blame them. They needed to force the issue. Complexity get an easy fourth goal. NIP have fought bravely. But it looks like there's still one South American origi originating team that have got their number. You might say that Ninja Pajamas were trying to fight shadows, but when CRR has got shadow defense like that, there are no good options. And Stromic was trying to find everything. Left, right, up, down. Are you going to take the bite? CRR had none of it. Complexity have had none of the storylines. 
phenomenal against Vitaly yesterday, and they prove that it was just a moment. It was not their event. And that's GG's. 15 seconds left. Just a formality at this point, but NIP going to play it out and try and get a goal. They're playing last goal wins on LAN against the Complexity team, who have looked brilliant all weekend. They've had, you know, a couple of moments where they've fallen apart, but for the most part, they've looked like the real deal. They're back in form. CRR not in form online for the second half of this uh, split, but he was unstoppable on the pitch in this match. Ray's Bull looked the real deal. The whole team looked ready for a lower bracket run. Bigger Brother wins again. Complexity move on.